Hi, in this tutorial we are going to use and uh, implement CNN, Convolutional Neural Network, in order to predict uh, brain tumor. We are going to use images, like uh, these uh, samples. So, let's start. Okay, the first phase would be installing the, the relevant Python uh, libraries. I'm going to install it uh, step by step. Uh, you can also find uh, the list of uh, libraries in my GitHub. The first phase, of course, is uh, creating a, a new Conda environment. I will call it a brand. And now um, we are going to install the TensorFlow and TensorFlow GPU and several uh, Python uh, libraries. Please follow the, the installation step by step and then we will start to, to build the, the model. As I, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to leave a file name installed.txt. Inside, you can find the link to the dataset. Uh, please download uh, this file. It's uh, basically a, an archive file. And then, of course, you should uh, extract uh, all the images inside this uh, zip file. Uh, you don't need a Dropbox uh, account. You can just uh, download the file and open it. You can see all the, the images. This is, for example, a, a brain tumor uh, images, and there are also uh, a healthy uh, brain images. We are going to use these uh, images in our model. Of course, we are going to split it to, to a trained model, to, to a trained data set and uh, validate data set. Okay, now we are going to, to write some code to split the data. And uh, before uh, starting the uh, coding, we should uh, change our uh, IDE to the relevant uh, Conda environment. I name it uh, Brain. Of course, you should uh, change it to your environment. Uh, now we are going to 
to write some code that split the data to a train, validate, and test data. So first of all, we are going to import uh, some uh, Python uh, libraries. And then we are going to run a, a, a simple uh, for loop uh, inside our folders that uh, randomly uh, will uh, copy the files from the uh, original folder to, to new folders. I can see that the one of the libraries is missing, the, the OpenCV, so we are going to install it as well. Next we are going to run through our images folder and uh, we are going to, to create a, a new folder, we are going to call it a train. And then we are going to copy 70% of the images to this uh, folder. Of course, this is a, a, a one process. We're going to do it to, to each of the folder, to the validate and the test as well. This is the, the total uh, amount of the images and now we'll continue uh, with the building the, the new folders. Okay, just a short explanation. The first loop is uh, creating the, the new train uh, folder and uh, if it uh, it's not exist, then it uh, will run the, the second loop and the second loop is uh, copy uh, all the, the images, sorry, not all the images, 70% of the images in a random order. And of course, if the, the folder is exist, uh, the whole process will uh, not uh, run again. I'm creating uh, two variables. The first uh, variable uh, O oh, is the original uh, folder, the, the original uh, path of, of the image, and the second uh, second one is the, the target path of the of the image, and then I can uh, uh, activate a uh, 
a simple uh, copy command in order to copy the, the images from uh, one folder to, to the train folder. And uh, of course, after copy the file, I'm going to remove it, delete it from the original uh, folder. You can see the, the whole copy process, the new train folder and all the images that they were copied to the brain and to the healthy. Uh, please notice that it also uh, create a, a, a new, uh, a new uh, folder called the train. It's, it's not relevant, so I just delete it. Now we're going to do the same process to the test folder. Just uh, change the, the path and all the, the relevant uh, variables and we can run it as the same way uh, we did on the train uh, folder so afterwards we'll, we will have a, a train folder, a test folder and then a validate folder course as for the test it uh, would, uh, would copy only 15% and same process we're going to run it the file were copied and you can see the, the images in the in the test folder Okay, so now we are done. We have a test train and validate images. So let's continue for the next phase, uh, which is the step uh, number two. It's uh, building our uh, CNN model. So uh, let's import some uh, libraries. And of course, the, the Keras and the TensorFlow um, objects, like uh, layers, and model please follow this uh, tutorial uh, i believe that you already know uh, with the basics of uh, creating a cnn model so i'm not going to explain about uh, the dense layer convolution layer flatten and max pooling uh, just uh, follow the, the process First, we are going to copy the path to our uh, train and uh, validate uh, directory. Then uh, the next step, we are going to use uh, the images in order to build our uh, model and of course to validate it uh, using the validation uh, folder. Okay, it's uh, of course a sequential uh, model. Uh, the first layer is uh, adding 32 uh, filters 
this is the, the first convolutional uh, layer and uh, our kernel side would be free by free and the activation fun function of course it's a it's a relu and our images uh, will be transformed to a shape of a uh, 224 on 224 with the three channels. Okay, the, the second uh, layer uh, will be adding another convolutional uh, layer. Uh, we are going to uh, add a 64 uh, filter with the same kernel size and of course uh, activation uh, function of uh, relu okay let's continue for the the third layer it would be a, a max pooling uh, with a size of uh, two by two then we are going to to add another uh, convolutional layer with the 128 filter and a max pooling and another one of 256 filters then we are going to add a dropout of about a quarter and then we are going to flatten it but we are not finished yet we are going to add another layer of 64 uh, units but it's going to be a, a dense layer okay please follow there is another a drop of layer and uh, since we have only uh, two classes it's like uh, a zero or one so basically it's a, a binary uh, model so if uh, and the, after we are going to run prediction it would be if the image has a tumor or, or not has a tumor so as for the units the units is equal uh, one and the function is a uh, sigma sigmoid since it's the, the result is between zero to one then we are going to add the, the compile uh, function please notice it's a binary a uh, cross entropy we are going to use optimizer of uh, Adam and of course the matrix is uh, accu accuracy and let's print our uh, model okay we have some uh, syntax errors Going to change the, the activate to activation, simple uh, correction. Another error, let's uh, fix it uh, as well. Okay, our model is uh, ready. You can see all the, the layers. And of course, the, the last uh, the last layer has only a one class, as I said, zero or one. It's a binary one. The next phase is uh, data augmentation. As we need more samples, we are going to to flip the the images. We are going to to add the uh, more uh, zoom in, so uh, that the model would have a uh, more uh, more data. And of course, very important, we are going to divide the values to 255 in order to normalize the information between 0 and 1. We're going to do the same and uh, normalize at the, the validation uh, images as well. Okay, next uh, function is uh, reading from the directory. This is our train directory and we are going to, 
to point our target size, our image uh, target size, since the images are each one of them can maybe in a different size. Our batch is going to be 32, that means in each batch, batch we are going to have 32 images and the class mode as I said earlier is a binary one. We are going to do a similar a process to the validation data. Next step, we are going to, to define an early stopping, like adding uh, checkpoints. So we are going to, to follow the accuracy and save the, the best result as a saved uh, model. So uh, please follow this uh, section uh, as well. Thank you. We are going to, to store or we're going to save the, the model each time it gets a, a better result. So please cho choose your, your own uh, uh, name for the file. And of course it's uh, going to, to monitor the, the validation accuracy. Okay, this is the, the fit uh, command and now we're going to, to add the, the our x is the train data, we're going to, to run it on uh, 30 epochs and of course add the validation data and the, the callback that we uh, defined uh, earlier and uh, we are going to, to follow the, the history after the, the model will uh, finish, finish. Um, okay, let's continue. Next we are going to plot the accuracy and we are going to plot uh, the loss using a pie plot. Okay, we are ready to, to run the, the code and to see the, the outcome of our model. Okay, this is our first uh, epoch. And you can see that uh, each time it saves, uh, uh, it's override uh, the last uh, model file each time that uh, the epoch uh, producing a better result it will be override and save and you can see that uh, the value accuracy is getting better and better each time
Okay, this is the, the accuracy uh, graph. You can see that uh, the results it's uh, very good and the same for the loss. And let's see that uh, the, the file was uh, produced, the, the model file. And here's the file. So we are going to use it uh, in our next phase with the prediction process. So let's create uh, the last step. The last step is uh, check and uh, use the model as a prediction. We're going to, to do it in uh, two steps. The first one is to run it on the whole test images and to get the, the test accuracy. And the next phase will be taking uh, one image, show it, do a prediction and and show the, the outcome on the same image and save the image with the prediction. So this is the, the first process, inputting uh, several uh, functions like a load model and uh, the, the image uh, from uh, Keras. And uh, then, we'll, as I said earlier, we are going to, to run it on a, on a bulk of uh, images in our test uh, directory. Test is uh, test images being transformed. I divided it to 255, the same as the validation, and we are going to run the, the flow from directory function in order to import uh, the images. And of course, uh, the target size is 224, same as the test, same as uh, the validation images, and. Uh, First, we are going to, to print the, the classes to see that we have only two, two classes or, or two options for classes. The one is a tumor and the second one is a, a healthy brain. It's a, just a test that the, the information was loaded successfully. So as you can see, we have a, a zero for brain tumor and one for a healthy one. Then we are going to load our uh, saved model. The model was loaded uh, successfully. Then uh, we are going to evaluate uh, all the images. Our X uh, argument is uh, should have the, the test data, and we are going to print it and to see the the, the all uh, accuracy. So you can see that the accuracy is about uh, 0 0.9, a very good one. Since it's, a, it's an array, we can uh, extract a specific number. Okay, let's fix it. Okay, this is the, the first uh, process. Now we are going to, to do a prediction for a specific uh, image. We're going to load it, show it using OpenCV. 
and then we are going to run a prediction and show the outcome, show the result as part of the, the image. So as for now we are just uh, choosing a, a random image. Let's copy the, the full path of the image. Okay, uh, we will use some OpenCV uh, functions. First one is uh, reading the, the image from the disk. And then we are going to, to show the image and uh, pause the, the process um, in order to, to project the, uh, the image. This is the, the CV2 uh, straightforward uh, process. Going to use, use the wait key. Okay, so the first, uh, first of all, let's see, let's see the image before running a prediction. Pr a, a prediction. This is the the image. Now we are going to to add the prediction. In in order to uh, run the prediction, we have to transform the image um, and transform its shape. We are going to to change it to a, an upper array and. We are going to add one more dimension since our model can has uh, several uh, images or several uh, arrays. So um, we are going to, to load the image, then we are going to um, change it to an array. Then we are going to uh, divide it to 255 in order to normalize the values of the, the pixel values to between 0 and 1. And uh, next we are going to, to add uh, like a one more layer. We, we are, since uh, the model uh, has as an input a, a batches of, of images, we are going to to add one more layer to our image. Let's print the shape before and after so you can understand it uh, uh, clearly. Okay, let's uh, run it. So uh, you can see that uh, after loading the image, it's uh, 224 and three channels and uh, after adding this uh, number array function, it has a, a one. It's like the, the first image in in a range of images. So uh, let's uh, continue to the to the prediction. Our image will be the the, the, the argument to the prediction. And then we are going to to print the result of the of the prediction. Okay, this is the the result. As I said earlier, since it's a binary model, the the result can be between a zero to one. So we are going to to round it. So it will be only zero or one. It cannot be a, a a number between. So if the value is more close to zero, it will be zero. And if it's more close to one, it will be one. And as I said earlier, zero means that the image has a tum tumor, and one means that the image has a healthy brain. Okay, so now let's uh, print uh, the result according to, as I said earlier, according to the 0 or 1. And afterwards, we are going to put the text on the result image and show it uh, as, as a, a one result. Show the image and show the prediction.
the, the put text is a CV2 function that uh, needs as argument the, the position, the, the font size, how thick the, the thick, thickness of the of the font. And um, you can see this is a I chose a blue color. Uh, let me change the, the the size and the thickness and run it uh, once again. And of course we're going to use the we, we can use also the, the I'm right uh, function in order to save the the image save the, the result image image plus the prediction okay so we have an image we have a, a text on the prediction this is an uh, healthy image so now let's try a, a, a new image, the one with a cancer. We're going to do the same process with a, a different image, a new image. And hopefully we'd like that uh, the model would uh, predict that this image has a cancer. And we're going to show the image with the prediction text, text and save the result as a, as a new image with this uh, blue text. And you can see that uh, the model works fine. And uh, we got an image with, with the relevant text and the correct text. Thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye bye.